Huobi makes a snafu, the Bitcoin society gets sexy, and Bitcoin takes to the skies. Today is Thursday, September 25th, 2014, and the price of Bitcoin dropped below $400 again this morning, but has recovered slightly and is currently sitting at around $410. I'm Stephen Chun, and here's what's happening today in money and tech. Chinese digital currency exchange Huobi announced that as a result of a customer service error, the company temporarily lost 920 bitcoins and 8,100 litecoins, equal to roughly 411,000 U.S. dollars on Wednesday, but that they have already managed to recover the majority of the misplaced currency. The exchange's security department was alerted early this morning and withdrawal systems were temporarily suspended. Thus far, about 880 bitcoins and 5,400 litecoins have been returned to Huobi, but there is still a ways to go. While the company is not commenting about how it intends to retain the last remaining funds, it has officially apologized for the incident and is telling all of its clients not to panic. Cryptocurrency exchange Atlas ATS has introduced a new feature called the Price Lock Guarantee, which allows users to lock in quoted Bitcoin prices for up to 60 seconds before executing a trade. CEO Sean Slows believes the service will allow market segments to better utilize Bitcoin as a payment network, saying merchants and payment processors aren't going to accept a currency if they have to accept a lot of short-term risks along with it. They want to know that the currency's value is stable, at least for the amount of time it takes them to convert back to the currency of their choice. Through the feature, Atlas ATS is also seeking to reduce Bitcoin's price volatility for certain user groups while preserving it for traders who want to leverage fluctuations for gains. Danish digital currency startup Coinify announced today that it has secured a multi-million dollar investment from Denmark's largest early stage venture fund, Seed Capital. Coinify aims to be the leading platform for digital currency in Europe and drive up mainstream adoption by making Bitcoin payments easy for consumers and merchants. So far, Coinify has already registered over 6,000 merchants and 7,000 consumers. As Seed Capital Investment Manager Richard Breider says, the Bitcoin protocol can revolutionize the way we transfer unique digital assets from one internet user to another. Potentially odd transactions could in the future be done in virtual currencies. That is a development we have to be a part of. In the same announcement, Coinify also revealed that they have acquired one of the largest European Bitcoin brokers, Bitcoin Nordic, as well as intellectual property rights to the payment gateway technology and all merchant relationships from Copenhagen-based company Bitcoin Internet Payment System. Digital currency company X Currency announced on Wednesday plans to launch a corporation, sell shares and submit its code to outsider scrutiny to see whether anyone can break through its privacy features. The X Currency team is calling this sale an ITO or initial token offering, which will involve the sale of crypto equity in the corporation or tokens that will differ from the actual XC currency. An official date to set these plans in motion has not been set in stone and many of the plans are still pending, but X Currency is eager to move quickly, as doing so will allow its creators to participate in the commercial projects necessary to realize their vision of a distributed web 3.0 application with its recently launched trustless mixing service. Once the application is made publicly available, shares in the company can be purchased by those seeking portions of ownership. In its press release, X Currency mentions that it will need to function as a licensed public entity and thus will be registered as a closed corporation in the USA and as functionally equivalent entities in other regions of the globe. The Bitcoin Society announced a merger on Wednesday with Lovewell Inc., creators of the sexiest Bitcoin wallet, the FIVA wallet at the Georgia Tech Bitcoin Club's inaugural event, which was co-hosted by BitPay and Bitcoin at Tech. In conjunction with the event, the university also announced that they will now be accepting Bitcoin through BitPay. The Lovewell team also debuted their new jacket wallet, a customized FIVA hot wallet made exclusively for Georgia Tech students and faculty, with plans to create similar customized wallets for every other university that accepts Bitcoin on campus. Lovewell also took the opportunity to promote their new COG cooperative, a network and membership-based reward program offering users the opportunity to share in Lovewell's success. As COG President Leif Taylor says, 
Lovewell has been and always will be all about the people. We structured COG as a cooperative in order to give back to the people that are responsible for our success, the users that make our network valuable. This means that if you grow the market and increase the value of the co-op, the amount of benefits you receive will grow in turn. To learn more about Lovewell Inc., FIVA Wallets, and the COG Cooperative, check out our interview with Leif Taylor and Lamar Wilson, available on our website. Bitcoin has really taken to the sky lately, and that's not a metaphor. Bitcoin evangelists Mark Fidel Hale and Paul Sticky Strickland have been wowing audiences at air shows recently in the Bitcoin jet. The jet, which is owned by Hale, is an Aero Voto Cody L39, typically used for combat training, so it is highly maneuverable and capable of a top speed of 407 knots and a ceiling of 36,000 feet. The jet's next scheduled appearance will be at the Las Vegas Air Show in early November. As always, find more information on today's news stories at moneyintech.com. I'm Stephen Chun, and thanks for watching Money in Tech's Daily News Update.